What is going on, guys? We are back in our Nighthawks Relocation Fantasy Draft franchise. It's about to be week 14 as we have a bye week coming up, and it'll be against the Chicago Bears. Now, first things first, in case some of you guys have been, you know, wondering what my sliders and all that are, I'll show you. Of course, there's a few people that are like, play on all Madden. It'll make it tougher. It's like, I, I literally have always played on all Madden. I've always stated that my biggest thing I want is a challenge and even if it's too busted, this is not the thing I'm looking for. Even if it's too bustedly strong, I'd rather have that than to have an easy experience. I just don't think the sliders work too well in Madden, but maybe I'm just using the sliders wrong. This and this have always been so 50-50 to me. We've had pass coverage on zero. We've had pass coverage on 100. And it doesn't really seem to change anything, which clearly 0 to 100 should change a lot, right? These are the sliders for them, of course. You know, we've seen their accuracy suck at times. Uh, we've seen their blocking suck at times. Run blocking at 60 on all Madden, you would think, would just be juiced. Yet, it really isn't. It's more the tackle breaking that beats us. Uh, punt accuracy at 100 because the AI sucks at punting, and even then, it doesn't seem to help a whole lot. Fatigue, I've recently dropped to 44 because in real life, you know, players come out of the lineup a lot, like quite a bit actually, and in our franchise here, it doesn't really seem like that happens. As far as the uh, penalties, it doesn't really matter too much. Uh, as I'd, I'd rather just have penalties not play a factor in general, and then roughing the pass, that's probably the most important thing is at 40. Maybe you want to put... Um, pass interference to like low as possible if you really want a challenge because then the AI's like well I can't get flagged I'm just gonna run right through you wait do we not have a bye week like talk or anything like that not that it matters the update one really sucks anyways but uh, I guess we'll just do a free training get our XP and probably have a ton of upgrades next week and with that bye week being perfectly timed I believe we are a fully healthy team for the first time in many, many weeks now with Sky Moore returning, Jonah Jackson not really playing long for us, but him returning as well, and we're about to be facing against the 3-9 and nine Chicago Bears. In case you're new to the series, I want to show you the roster. I am all over the place here with the with the clicks and the, the, the things and whatnot, but Sky Moore, back in the starting lineup. I imagine. Uh, as far as how I want him in the starting lineup, probably not the number one, right? Like, I'd put him at the number two for now, and maybe he gets back to number one, or Ferguson just plays that full time uh, as far as, you know, everything else goes. Everything else is pretty standard, you know. Looking at the defense, nothing crazy going on here. Pretty, pretty average, pretty good, I suppose. Uh, as far as the opponent, though, the Bears... At 3-9 and nine with a high overall, uh, you're kind of wondering what has happened to them. Maybe they just don't have... Uh, maybe they got some injuries, perhaps. But uh, Deshaun Watson at quarterback. Dalvin Cook at running back. Uh, okay, I I'm sorry. Fullbacks are people, too. Kabinda. Uh, I'm sorry. We needed to see that, right? A.J. Brown and Corey Davis. Kind of similar-ish type players. Taller type guys. I don't know what I'm talking about. I just looked at that speed, and I'm like, hey, that's the same guy. Uh, of course, uh, their catching is a little iffy, though. 89 catching compared to 94 catching traffic. 82 catching compared to 91 catching traffic. Uh, if only someone would do, like, an experiment to see if that matters. Cephas, really good catcher. Uh, and then Denzel Mims. Swinton, you would almost deb debate, could start somewhere. Uh, of course, Ebron, number one tight end. They need to replace him. Mylotta, great left tackle. Joe Tooney, very good left guard. Ryan Jensen, amazing center. Right guard's iffy. Right tackle's really solid. They must have a bad defense. And so far, that looks to be the case as they are looking rough here. I mean, they are a slow team on top of that. Of course, Christian Harris is a decent player. Speaking of, speed-wise, is Devin Lloyd playing the edge? I suppose he has a... Oh, wow, they developed him as a pass rusher. I suppose he does have a little bit of pass rush ability, but interesting. Howard, the number one corner. Teron... Johnson and Adebo at the number two and three spots. Johnson a bit slow, but very smart. And then the strong safety, Gaffney, looking very good, very athletic. This guy could be a problem in the league. I'm really surprised this team is three and nine. They must really suck on defense, and the offense is just not good at all. Uh, looking at their offense, it's 12th. Yeah, I mean, their defense is really bad as expected. But 22nd rushing offense with that line and Dalvin Cook. 
Once again, maybe he was injured and he's finally back and we're about to get punished, but 748 yards on 12 games isn't like crazy low. At most, he would have missed like a game or two. Gamble actually had a player of the week in week 12. And then, of course, week 13, you have the Cowboys of the couple, which means they're probably winning. Wow, Jacobs, crazy game there. Uh, the Cowboys are probably ahead. Wow, they're ahead by two games. Oh, my God. And Washington's not even that far behind. Can we not? They tell us to defend the short pass, but it seems like their medium pass is a little bit tougher. 100% on the passer rating. Well, maybe not 100%, but you know what I mean. Uh, and then def attacking them, I think, also attacking the medium part of the field is going to be the best case. Wow, their defense really does suck, though. All right, so a couple of uh, upgrades. Jordan Davis is going to be the first one on the block, and I really like this guy. Power move plus two with a block shed plus one. 89 power move now with 86 block shed. He is becoming a problem in the league. Of course, Jonah Jackson, we know his power move or his power blocking is good. It's not great, though. I think we're actually going to go agility just so we can get everything in the green, perhaps. Doesn't go up in overall, which is lovely. Love to see that. And his finesse. Pass block finesse does go up quite a bit, which is nice, but... I just wanted to get both of those to green, and then, you know, you don't have to worry about it anymore. Not that it matters too much, but it just, you know, it's something I wanted. All right, Tristan Long, I think he needs pure, like, the blocking stats, like the run block slash pass block, right? Yeah, th those are his biggest issues, is the, the regular rating, which, once again, who even knows what the hell even... <laughs> yeah, but, of course, uh, Terrell Ferguson... He is pretty bad on the medium to deep stuff. His catching does kind of suck. I think deep threat's the best for him just because you want him to be that pure X receiver anyways and a speed upgrade wouldn't hurt. Gets one to deep, two to catching, which is nice because it puts him in the 80s. And it's an overall decent upgrade, of course. Gamble, what do we want for this man? His, his accuracies are pretty good. I mean, speed doesn't really matter too much, but improviser would be nice for a chance at all that stuff. So let's go with improviser which gives him plus five and acceleration. Not quite a speed, but that's nice. Throw under pressure plus two, which is great. Throw on the run, short, and break sack. Not bad, actually. And then the last guy that kind of matters out of this group, Thaddeus Carmichael, who I suppose is kind of in coverage a lot. So let's go with the pass coverage. I was going to say run stopper, but eh. Plus, I mean, that's pretty good. Acceleration with some coverage. It's really all you can ask for. That's speed, man. If we could put that acceleration into speed a little bit, that'd be great. And here we are on a dreary day. Of course, it seems like all the teams that are doing bad, they rock their special uniforms near the end of the season just to hype up the crowd, even though there's really nothing to be hyped about. You see it so often. It's just... Like, you get it, you understand why, and it kind of works. It still kind of works, even though we we all understand your facade that you're playing out here. Is that Teddy Bridgewater? Who's their backup quarterback? Doesn't look like Teddy, but he's wearing his number, and that's that's enough for me to know. Of course, whoever is filming the freaking Jets there, I almost missed them. Thank you very much. I'm trying to get hyped here, of course. Our team rocking the gray pants, looking pretty good. Of course, the Bears, still a team with a lot of pride so whether they're three and nine four and nine two and nine i don't know where i'm going with this but you know you get the point they're uh, a team that cannot be trusted to just lay down they're absolutely going to try Dalvin mccook wants to get his thousand yards plus you know you got some guys here that are definitely trying to uh, be in the top of the league in their own right whether their team is or not not that they're saying you know i'm not saying they're selfish but i would you know have some reason to play and wow nice nice jersey there uh, but here we are let's see if we can continue our little winning streak and try and climb back up to catch up to those cowboys who i imagine have a bye week right or sometime soon all right here we go the the kick bar kind of went a little wild so this might be a little off to the side but doesn't matter because the kick power is yeeting Let's take a look at Deshaun Watson's numbers. So I imagine if his overall is decent, he's got to be a pretty good guy. Well, <laughs> maybe not that, but he's a pretty good player. <laughs> oh, Jesus. 32 to 7, 3,300 yards. Completion percentage is looking pretty decent. Yeah, he's having a good year. Maybe not a good guy, but, uh, you know. Of course, first and 10 looking like they're going to run, so let's bring Tyson Anderson in. And he will run, and wow, Burns is not messing around as he takes down a... Dalvin Cook through O'Neal, maybe even through Ebron. It felt like there was a lot of players there, and he's already in the zone. Honestly, I was going to back off and not run mid, but we're running mid because he's in the zone. We don't care. 
and... Oh, what a jump ball. That's an amazing play. Who is that? Is that AJ Brown? I did not think he would be a superstar. That is a great play. I mean, that was a pretty damn good throw under pressure with Burns in his face. That was the time to risk it, I felt. He was in the zone. After bringing down the running back, Stearns gets in there, grabs him, but kind of slips by. There was the chance to just already knock him off the field. If they get sacked on that play, which they were so close to doing, that I mean, that's pretty much a punt, right? Like, it's almost impossible to work through that. And speaking of working through something impossible, Jordan Davis almost in time through the double team. But Mr. Deshaun Watson getting the ball out pretty quickly so far. Gets another first down to the team. Might be a run. We're bringing Anderson in, but we could always drop back. And, oh, that was a good play. Scott, very, very, like, feisty making the tackle. That man's good. Been a prototypical slot corner for us so far. I love him as Jordan Davis trying to work through. And that's a nice cutback, slipping off of some tacklers. But we're a resilient bunch. Going to gain nothing as, as he kept bouncing, as he kept breaking tackles. The, the numbers of the bodies kept coming, of course. Don't know how I feel about Scott one-on-one -on -one against Brown again. Brown in the slot is kind of busted, and that's going to be overthrown hard. Never really had a chance anyways. It's kind of doubled up, but a really solid-looking drive just derailed in time to avoid a scoring drive as uh, Nguyen Wu is not going to have a chance. Well, he will, but there's no reason to as the ball is going to go through uh, you know, the end zone or into the end zone as Gamble. 26 touchdowns, 15 interceptions, 3,273 yards. Completion percentage not looking bad at all. That's a pretty good season for a rookie quarterback playing on a still developing team. And you can almost argue that we drafted him too early, but when he's playing this well, it's never too early. Read option. We're going to hand this off to Gibbs. Not really going to get much, but gaining a yard. I think the most important, love you, mom. Okay. What? No no love for dad? I'm his dad. Slants. And there is a tough throw. Gets it. Not a great throw, but it's enough as Tutu Atwell is going to gain a ton of yards. Avoid a hit because he's literally a child. Gaining 35 yards. Got a chance here. I mean, they do have a lot of names here, but I do like the, the blocking chance. Uh-oh. Hawkins going to gain a two. One only. Wow, they're... I mean, pre-snap, it probably wasn't the best read. But for some reason, I just believed in the blockers, which I absolutely should never do. It's kind of more early on the... Uh, are they going to leave him? They probably did, but let's run. Ah! Oh, Jesus. Gamble got hit stick, but ball's out of bounds anyways. Could have maybe taken Woodley. Could have definitely taken Ferguson, but I thought Ferguson maybe step up for a block, but he ran up for another route. And the read option is going to work a very well. Don't fumble. Thank you to the 20-yard line. I was going to go the stiff arm, but didn't get it popped in time. Either way, a gain of, what, 15 on the play? Something pretty uh, good, at least. Read option. Again. This time, a different look as Gamble's going to get another first down. Looking a little slow there. Tillery, I mean, not a great player, but it didn't seem like they had a lot of depth at that position, so... Could still be pretty massive. Looking for Ferguson, maybe. Uh, I shouldn't even be throwing this. I knew I shouldn't have been throwing this because it's a hold anyways. Ran out of time, but that was really good coverage. And, of course, it's going to be a hold on us. So that's literally just a turnover. I don't know what it is, but the moment a flag pops up, I make the worst decisions. Gamble makes the worst decisions possible. <laughs> Not my fault. Uh, of course... Burns! Oh, man. That was a good try, actually. That would have been a crazy hit. Of course, still really limiting Dalvin here. and That's the reason why I didn't go with the mid-defense or run defense. Because I just figured if their numbers are bad, they might just be a bad running team. And so far, that's been the case. Ah, to the outside. But Woolen! Ah, I don't think he's going to make it. Down to the two. What an interception. Those curl routes we've actually been getting a little bit better on. Woolen with his ninth pick of the season. Triple option. I don't think this is going to work. I also don't think that's going to work, though. Let's hand it off. Hawkins. One yard short. Gotta love when the quarterback hesitates. I mean, the curl route's almost always open against us, but if you hesitate for a second, we've got it. As Ben Mason. Very close. Fighting hard. They're going to say he gained a yard, which... Would signify that that was a very long yard we needed. 
I really want to throw the ball, but at the same time, we made a huge mistake last time we were here. I think it's obvious we'd go to the right, so we're going to make the run to the left. And Hawkins with a slip-off will score the game's first points. Fifth touchdown of the year for Mr. Hawkins, and that's a tough one. It's going against, you know, a veteran aging high tower, but either way, it's still a tough uh, play to make. All right, obviously, we ran mid earlier with this. I don't like this look for defending the run, though. With this look... And Jabril's not going to get it. And Brian Burns has been on a point today. Only gaining four on a play that he just had a wide open lane. Of course, Dalvin's not doing anything wrong. He's taken all the correct angles. It's just there really hasn't been a lot of angles to work with. And yeah, like, like said, I mean, he's literally like one yard per attempt. She's got him on her fantasy team. She's literally like, come on, Dalvin. Come on. Of course, we can see routes again, which is, I mean, very interesting to say the least. We got I mean, that's, yeah, I mean, we had that locked up, dude. Perfect coverage. Deshaun Watson had nowhere to go there. We were pretending, I mean, we were pretending to kind of go deep on the outside, which I think threw him off. And then, obviously, we were waiting for those uh, those routes to develop in the middle of the field, and we were just protecting the first down line. And he was like, screw it, let's throw it to him. Oh, come on, guys. Get some blocks. Throw it to him underneath. Maybe he'll make a play. Who knows? But, of course, we now know, uh, we know, not not him. I really honestly don't know what I was supposed to do there. I think I was supposed to keep it, but either way, it gains a yard, I guess. Running it right up the middle. I don't like that. I'd rather run this instead. The fullback's pretty open. Ah, good try to switch the hands. We're going to go for that stiff arm. Still gains a good amount of yards. Got to like the fullback getting involved this week, though. That's what I like to see. Of course, going with another kind of specialty formation. Throwing the defense off, perhaps. Ben Mason is just not even going to come close. He's got to block the first guy he sees. He's going second level on a third and one run call. Melifonwu doing a eh, kind of iffy job, actually. Missed tackle. Huge hit by McGrone, though. To the 30 will be their start of the next drive. Yeah, the defense has been tightening up against us week to week, which I don't know means we got to maybe get a little bit more aggressive. We do run a lot of short stuff now. Ah, that could be a decent play for him. Yeah, I mean, really looked like they were going to hand that off, but they didn't, gaining five to Dalvin. Let's go a little bit lighter in the formation just to protect these four wide receivers. Make sure they don't make a play on us. And Jordan Davis. Kind of a coverage sack, kind of a good effort. I mean, it's, I mean, it's always a good effort, but... A little bit of a mix play. Obviously, we kind of covered uh, their underneath that they were looking for. Third and 14 now. Off the edge, Drake Jackson not really getting in there. Slipping it, and that will be a chance. Corey Davis a yard short. I mean, with that kind of effort, I am probably going for it if I'm them. So I will be trying to play it safe in case they fake it. There you go. <laughs> yeah, it was a tough of a, a tough play, but Wang was a pretty good return specialist, so I figured he can handle it. And instead of running the read, we're just going to run it straight up the middle. And we're going to get a lot of yards, as expected, gaining about 12. That's a nice play. All right, a little bit of trouble, a little behind Sky Moore, but welcome back, buddy. Getting his first completion after the injury gotta love that and we're gonna just run it straight up the middle again we do have that option look to 2-2 two -two at well which they will cover and gibbs fighting hard i think they called that early they've got a lot of uh free rush on that left side there we go woodley oh i thought ferguson kind of ran into that he thought it was his route of course that is kind of a a dumb lineup because it looked like they intersected so i'm not really sure how that works if you're actually looking for the comeback but luckily it worked out it's all that matters and blocks are looking pretty good except and there's a fumble trying to break a tackle trying to do too much and it's all down to woodley who will bring him down to the 36 and jonah jackson injured again sky Moore could have given us a touchdown he misses at this situation, you're still like, that's a lot of yards. To try to break the tackle, can't, and fumble. A lot of turnovers today from Gamble, unfortunately. 
Get the club move. Nice job. I mean, they're really... When it goes down to Cook getting the ball, he just doesn't do a whole lot with it, it seems, today. So let's hope that stays the same. Really do need to build up some points here, though. Ooh, get the other way. And there you go, Maddox. Eight for 11. We're killing him. More or less killing the offensive line, but still. I think with this lineup, we can get away with a blitz. Anderson, one-on-one. -on -one. Stearns makes the tackle going to force a field goal. Obviously, we were going to give up. Oh, they're going to go for it. I don't know if I agree with this if I'm them. I'm going to run the blitz again. And there's just nobody there. Good try by Maddox, but not enough help. Did I run a blitz? Or, like, what was that? Like, the, it was supposed to be a blitz. For instance, from the 26-yard line, Dalvin Cook. Going to get the ball and kind of held a little bit. Oh, there goes Dalvin. And there's the Dalvin we know and hate. Trying to make it look like we're, like, coming with the hardcore blitz again, but we're going to peel out last second. Uh-oh, that's bad. Except for the fact that Brian Burns is a god. Saving that was... I mean, that looked like it was going to be a clear-cut touchdown. Stepping up on that outside. We got to back up a little bit. Got to come up with Tyndall, and he's actually only going to gain two. That is a really good play. Tyndall making a god-tier play with that. Two-minute warning. Of course, we do have timeouts, so chance for us to retaliate with whatever, you know, against whatever points they do score here, assuming they score any. Obviously, you have to actually score them. Otherwise, you never know. Could be interception or fumble. That's a really good play. Jordan Davis, not going to get him. He's going to throw it. Doesn't matter. Is that not a penalty? It is. It's over the line. But more importantly, Tyndall swatted it away anyways. Of course, it's going to be a four-yard penalty. It's not going to matter since it was third down. It was a smart-ish play. I'm trying to think. Did he have the first down in him? It was going to be close, but I think he easily gets that. He wanted it all, but honestly, he could have just ran. Our boy Wade back at it again on the edge. Let's see if he can do it against Tyler Bass. Not really against Tyler Bass, but, you know, he's it's kind of his direct competition, if you will. Langwu going to get a chance to return it. Two minutes left in the second, right before halftime. Of course, fighting hard gets pretty much back to where he needs to. All right, let's see our potential rookie of the year dot up. I don't know if I really like this play specifically, though. And, yeah, we're going to get sacked. I was kind of looking around quite a bit. I didn't want to force anything. I was just about to potentially force it to uh, Woodley and decided no points is still better than giving up points. So, second and 20, they want us to give up on the drive, which makes sense, but we're not going to do that, obviously. As Woodley's looking pretty good. That's a dot, and he's going to get all that and more. That's uh, Strong Safety, I believe, who's looking really good. It gets burnt, surprisingly. Woodley having himself a really, really, really good season so far. Ferguson on that outside. Not really open. Not really seeing. And that's just going to be intercepted. Like, I, I I saw him coming up. I just didn't think he was going to commit. And he did. Like, wh what are we doing with that? The pressure, I get it. But, like, that's just a dumb play. Like, why wouldn't he commit? Like, wh who else is he going to cover? Like, usually when they run up, they kind of stop, but he, I mean, he's just nobody open. Like, what am I doing there? No points is better than giving up points. <laughs> As we give up points. <laughs> oh, man. Having some really bad reads lately. And that's not one of them. Really good play by 2 2 Atwell. Timeout. Absolutely need to try to get back on the board here and, you know, erase whatever. Kind of looking for Woodley here. If we have to, we'll just chuck it out to. Uh... Oh, Woodley's pretty open. That is a really good play, and he's going to save us a timeout to the 33. Yeah, I mean, we're... I don't know, dude. I just don't understand where, like... We make these crazy plays, and that's a stupid booth review. It's obviously in. And yet, we have these stupid bad read interceptions, and it's just like, what are we doing? I'm getting sick of the drag, so we're going to go with uh, a slant instead. Uh-oh. Uh, kind of have to call a timeout there. Glad we have that running back blocker. That always do really well for us. So we have the deep look of a, um, you know, of 2-2 two -two Atwell and Ferguson, but Sky Moore is probably the main look here. And that is a dot. Oh, we can't hurry up to the line. Crap, timeout. Oh, that's kind of a bad mistake. Because now if we get sacked or we get stuck in the middle of the field, we might not be able to kick the field goal. 
I almost agree with them to kick it early. But at the same time, I feel like we can maybe just take a shot as well. Ferguson. Dropped. That was a good try. I like that. I like that. It was worth the, the risk, I felt. It's the big man. The ball was thrown pretty well. Is there no wind? Uh-oh. Okay, the kick is up. The kick is good. And with 10 seconds left, I can't imagine they're going to score. They do not. We have given up a stupid amount of points by being dumb. But we have ball all tied up. So they've made, you know, they've wasted a lot of opportunities. But the problem is we've given them a ton of opportunities, which is even worse than what they've done. They've just kind of sucked and they've had a punt. We've given them literal points. So we, we've got to fix that and just be chill. Of course, they're showing some of our highlights. and going to show some of our lowlights because it was a worse offensive performance than it was good in the first half. It's just such like a, like you look back at it and it's just like, what are you doing? Of course, going to hand this off to 2-2 two -two Atwell, who's going to get a little bit of yardage. Gains about three. Kind of hesitated around that edge just because I thought maybe there was going to be a cutback lane or maybe forced cutback lane because, once again, we were running out of room there. But second and seven, read option. I'm going to hand this off because I don't know what that guy's going to do. And, oh, my God, Kendrick Green just got destroyed by a linebacker. Can we, can we not do that, please? Like, don't get destroyed by a linebacker, perhaps. Looking for some blocks, which we don't even need. There's only three. Ferguson, that's a tough one. Going to get the first down barely. Gain seven. Jeez. Like, again, we don't have the greatest route runners in the world, but I wish we had more plays with double moves. You know, I want to see a double move play. And there's nobody on the running back. Hawkins is free. What a spin. Gains about 14. Once again, missing three throws, yet two of them are picks. Like, those are just numbers that don't add up, and they're just really bad for a team's chance to win. Sitting tough in the pocket, kind of running our room, throw it away. Took way too long to develop. This is kind of like a sellout play, like if we don't see what we're looking for here. And that is rip. Holy crap, that's insane coverage. That one is not the same as the other picks we've had. That one is man... I can't tell if it's actually man. It looks like man coverage, though, if you ask me. Man coverage with the corner not looking somehow reacts without looking. He's looking left, but he's not even able to see the quarterback from his peripherals here. That is nuts, dude. And even then... For him to come out and catch that is crazy. Like, don't get me wrong. We're having a bad game. We're obviously throwing a bunch of interceptions. It's really frustrating. But that one is not a bad read. That one's just a crazy play by the corner. Uh-oh. We're supposed to be there, and we just sell, dude. Dalvin Cook has played so bad. He doesn't even deserve those stats. Oh, my. Normally, I don't really get frustrated. But I'm actually kind of frustrated right now. The way this has gone... I'm actually going to trust Sky more to just beat down the field. I know it's... Oh, my. I, I kind of figured why they were... You know, why it looked like the deep play was open. And it's, it's of course, because they were blitzing. But still. And that's going to... Really good effort by Hawkins. I thought it was going to be pick number four, to be honest. They're absolutely feeling it right now. Of course, the one drive I don't look to run the ball at all is the one drive that they're not prepared to stop the run. And, like, what is going on, guys? Oh, my. This is... This could be a GG. We've missed eight... What? Five? Six straight completions? Six straight attempts. Missed. And Wade, my freaking special team hero you are. It's all right, though. Defense is fine. Defense, you know, there was a little bit of a lapse in play. And it was kind of a, you know, bad decision. To not have the safety deep. Jordan Davis trying. Of course, Scott missing the tackle. And that's going to be a huge 15-plus yard gain. And the clock is barely moving, so we still have a chance. And the reason why it's barely moving is because of us. We can't freaking do anything. And Maddox, one-on-one. -on -one, I mean, not even one-on-one. -on -one, it's like one-on-three. The two linemen in front of him just made a great play to make him lose a yard. I mean, his tackle for a loss number has got to be pretty decent this year. He's kind of killed it. And we're getting locked up over the middle. We need to hit him. Come on. I get A.J. Brown's kind of big anyway, so it might not matter. But he's just a sitting duck there. And we're not popping him. Get out there in time. 
There goes Jordan Davis, and they're going to quick throw it outside. Dalvin, not going to gain much. A field goal here doesn't kill us. But what kills us is if we suck on offense again. This is kind of tough. I mean, we did enough. We had two players kind of blocking us up. We were doing as much as we could to string it out. Third and four, blitz. They absolutely look like this is a legitimate pass, but we still have not gotten there in time. And we did enough with the blitz to force a bad timing play, throwing it out there while his guy's still running his route, and it worked. Maybe we get a block with Wade. Touchdown, perhaps. And it will not be... We will be down by two possessions. We have not scored any points in ages. Now, Wang Wu on the return. Going to get a little bit of a run up on it. That's good blocking. Best return of the day. Not that it's much better, but it's still better. All right, read option. And the blocks are not looking great, but Gamble has that outside look. And he'll gain about four. There's a lot of effort to gain four, I'll tell you. Of course, I really don't want to throw anything to Howard's spot because he's just a freak of nature. Go a quick throw to Woodley, and really good tackle by Dante. Might be short. It will be a fresh set of downs. Go with the play action now. And I just did not try. What a play action. That was a really good throw. I did not trust uh, Xavier Howard just jumping down and intercepting that across fields. I was not doing that. Might be a Ferguson curl. That's tough. And it's caught. What a play. Once again, kind of throwing the ball away from, uh, I mean, it's in it at Howard's area, but, you know, kind of away from him specifically. And we're definitely hesitating a little bit, but it's all right as Gamble will turn it into a gain of about seven. We're hesitating a little bit, but at the same time with players running around and they're making good plays, maybe you do need to hesitate. Maybe that's... What's hurting us is just throwing it in there rather than kind of waiting and seeing. And that's... I get it's under pressure. He literally gets hit as he's throwing there, but we really needed that play. And Hawkins is... My, ah, we're going to have to go for this. He's going to be short by inches. I was going to run the pitch, but we're just going to trust the blocks. Come on, boys. Oh, there you go, fellas. A lot of yards. A lot. Thank you. The best non-quarterback run of the day, probably, I'd imagine. Kind of making Sky Moore's route useless. And no one's on Hawkins. Hits the throw. Touchdown. Burned by that a few times a couple weeks ago. And this time it helps us as we will get a touchdown on the drive. Good play. That weird throwing again, though. All right. Their drive third and four now. Chance to get off the field already here with a three and out. And we will not. Woolen misses. Cook. Good play there by Dalvin. And, of course, Sean Watson dumping it off to him. As that's really been their their big play you know, situation. Not even big play, but just their key play situation today. Just throwing it short to Dalvin. Letting him get the yards. Of course, Dalvin Cook there on a blitz. Getting tons of blocks for once. Gaining seven. Of course, he's had a technical good game because of that huge receiving play. But... We have held them in check for the most part. And we miss. We try to just dive as Dalvin is going to just take on the whole team and probably get the first down. Corey Davis is now injured for them. I can't really remember what play, you know, part he's played. But far as, like, playing best on best goes, their best kind of gets worse now. And we got to get that wool. And it's tough, but we really need that. Team Sacks ranked fourth. But, of course, only two. So we change it up a little bit. We have best on best properly, and we have our uh, a tackling on aggressive to try and maybe pop the ball out. And, ooh, him stepping up did kind of throw me off. That's not a great play, uh, but not a terrible one either. As you can see, he had a chance. Booker all over that, though, knocks it out. Looking at a blitz, same side as Dalvin, which is going to weaken us, but it's also going to make it hard for him to actually get the ball out over there, and damn it. Good tackle by Stearns. We're kind of sitting a little bit in the middle because you never know when it's going to just be a slant, but damn. That little uh, smoke screen throw worked out pretty well for them. And wow, Maddox is he's something else, dude. That guy is killing it in the run defense. 
Of course, the clock is dripping. We cannot allow a touchdown. If we allow a touchdown, we may have lost the game. Dalvin Cook, kind of at the back up. Yeah, and that's all Tyson Anderson, baby. Third and ten, bringing the blitz. This is a Woolen play. Woolen, come on. Do your bidding. It's a screen pass. No! No! Look at all the jukes! We just barely missed. A pick six there puts us right back on top. Oh, my Lord. Dalvin is getting so much credit for doing absolutely nothing today. Come on, Burns. Oh, that should have been a penalty. That could have been a really bad penalty for us. And it probably should have been. That's a really good play by uh, Wade there. I think it was Wade. Yeah, I mean... Like, yeah, that is our coverage, but they have not looked to those routes all day. I thought we were just in enough range to force them to not take that look. And you see Dalvin busting free. I'm just, like, thinking that's where it is. It is a very tough throw and catch, but he, he definitely got it. Like, they literally have not looked for anything deep at all. Like, anything over 10 yards at all. Outside of, like, a heave. That's, I mean, <laughs> insane coverage. They were literally on it from the get-go. And even after we motioned, he was perfectly in coverage as well. Ferguson finding his lane. Tries to spin move. Fast spin, which is pretty nice. Our route to 2-2 two -two Atwell. No one on him. He's going to gain another first down. Going out of bounds doesn't really help us here, but we were going to come out with a different look anyways, so it doesn't really matter. Woodley could be my look. And he will be. Another first down. They are probably laxing in coverage, don't get me wrong, but this is a decent drive for us. And it's a very important one, obviously. Let's change our formation. It's probably looking like a Ferg route. And Gamble's going to run. Gamble's actually going to turn it into a first down. Nice run. We're always keeping our eyes down the field, making sure we we're a little bit, you know, out in front of the, the guy chasing us directly, just to make sure. Not bad. That was a good play. That's a tough one. Damn, Ferguson must be juiced, because I don't think that was an inaccurate throw. I just think Ferguson was so tired he couldn't get out there. But he's still in, so maybe he isn't. I don't know. He's running really weirdly, though. Ferguson, top throw, and he drops it. What is wrong with him? How many times has he done that this season? Literally just dropping a pass for nothing. There's nobody on him. He's wide. Woodley, oh my, that's a bad throw, and he's going to be short. Like, you need a field goal, kind of, but at the same time, if they somehow score a touchdown... You know, that field goal literally loses us the game, so I'm going to go for it. And it works out once again. Blocking on fourth and inches has been clutch. Gaining 10 again. Let's hurry up to the line. I don't really know if I like the look, but we're still going to try. And there's Ferguson. Not really making up for it, but at least he caught it, I suppose. And I was going to go for two, but I think at this point in the game, it's, it's too late to cut a field goal deficit with two-point conversion attempts. If it was a full quarter still, I probably would, but at this point, it's too late. And even though I believe in our defense, I still think the onside kick is the best choice. That's a really solid onside kick, all things considered. Of course, A.J. Brown, though, is the guy that gets it, so maybe not. It looked good, if you will. It's kind of about it, though. They're actually going to throw the ball here. And... What is Scott doing? I get he's undersized, but, like, get in there. He's got to do better than that, dude. He just he just has to. They're throwing it again. Oh, another first down, dude. They're up by three, and they're just throwing it nonstop, and they're getting it every time. Second inches, you pretty much have to run the blitz. Oh, come on, Stearns. Good tackle, though, so... Here it is, goal line defense. 
potentially for the game. All right, boys, let's make a play. Oh, my God, he gains three yards, two and a half on a freaking run commit. But like I said, I think it was the right call with um, not going for two because, as you can see here, it's just it's not going to be enough time. Oh, my God, Tyson Anderson, please bring him down. They're bringing three wide receivers out. What the hell? What the hell? This is not what I was looking for. And every time on the sit-down routes, they just body us up like freaking basketball players, and we lose every time. All right, Sean Wade, it's not quite a field goal block, but it's an extra point block that would lead to points. Damn, dude, we just can't stop them. Offense actually picked it up, but it was too little too late, and the defense is just giving up points left and right. Gonna take a miracle. But at the same time, a miracle touchdown would make me feel bad about not going for two, to be honest. Yeah, we're just doing a little bit too much there, but, you know, positioning, field positioning here doesn't really matter that much. It's all about quick scores, so trying to go for the touchdown there wouldn't have been the worst thing to do, obviously. And Woodley's not going to get it down. Come on. And is that a late hit? Please tell me. Better not be a hold, dude. Holding offense. Nice. Good job, Newhouse. Who, I mean, I can't really blame him. He's been the best lineman all season. Worst part is he holds when he's not even beat. Like, he, he actually has him pushed through. It wasn't even the guy that was going to get us. Double drags. Maybe one of the tight ends to just bust free. And that is Cole Turner busting free. Look at him go. Of course, that's not really going to get us where we need to go. I don't want to waste the timeout here. I just feel like a timeout's kind of more useful. That's a tough one. Gibbs could play. Call one there, I guess. But it would be more useful if we're actually, like, down the field. So it'll take us a long time to get there, you know? Obviously, they're going to be protecting the outsides, but still looking for it. Maybe had the running back. There you go. Wow, and then he fumbles. Oh, my God, dude. GG, we've lost. Holy crap, he just got killed, though. Sky Moore died. Who was it that got I can't believe Howard just, like, perfectly, though. Like, thought maybe we could outrun him. Who It was Hightower, wasn't it? I mean, that, to be fair, he probably wouldn't have seen it coming. Well, no chance at a miracle as, uh... It's a miracle Sky Moore's still alive. The Bears beating us. Kind of handsomely. I mean, we tried. We were coming back. We were actually doing really well on offense for once. Maybe it was because, once again, they were holding that two-possession lead. So, they were just like, just don't give up a long score and we'll just bleed them out, which technically worked even without that fumble. But, damn, that hurts. Especially with the Dallas Cowboys, a full freaking game, two games ahead of us, now maybe three. I mean, best chance for us now is probably wild card right i mean i don't see us having a chance to take the division cowboys are just not looking back at this point but yeah we're gonna lose 34 to 24 unfortunately dropping another game on the season and we have no one to blame but ourselves some of the reads were just awful of course xavier and howard making crazy diving catch interception was really detrimental especially when we felt like we were just turning around a bit and kind of set us back but yeah, those two blind reads, one that literally gave a touchdown. It was a 14-point swing, potentially, and obviously we lost by 10. So, yeah, that was that was the game, those, those turnovers. That's what we've been winning on all season is forcing teams to make mistakes with interceptions and whatnot. But instead, we were the ones that made those mistakes and ultimately lost the game. We Once again, we were starting to get it going there, but the defense just absolutely folded and too little too late. Of course, that fumble right there also didn't help, but... Gamble, two touchdowns, three interceptions. He improved his game after really struggling, but still, we were bad at rushing. Obviously, Gamble fumbled twice, which is not helpful either. It's five turnovers. I think uh, they recovered both fumbles as well. Five turnovers from Gamble, which is not good. Woodley killing it. Uh, two tackles, okay. Ferguson had a touchdown, but really nothing spectacular. Sky Moore really did more against us than he did for us. 
As far as sack totals go, I mean, not really a whole lot of pressure. John, John Johnson, two interceptions for the freaking slow man. Love that. That's fun to see. Wills, who uh, obviously we want him as a pure pass protector. We're going to go with pass protection. Gets plus two to finesse, plus one to pass block, which makes him a very solid player, even though I still think Newhouse has played the best out of all the, the linemen this year. Woodley with an upgrade. Obviously, he's uh, the best tight end in the league this season-wise, stats-wise. Uh, looks like a good upgrade. A bunch of different like route runnings and whatnot. But yeah, that is uh, going to be an unfortunate loss, dropping us to eight and five, which might push Dallas's lead to three games. Of course, they have a bye week coming up at some point, it seems. So maybe that'll still just be two games. But we play Dallas. They win, and I imagine that locks up the division. But of course, we're not going to go quietly in the night. But we're in Dallas. This should be a nighttime game, to be on 100% honest. But it is what it is. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. That was a tough battle. You can see we only got one of our goals. Uh, I don't know why we forgot to change the uh, never reach fourth down thing. Uh, that's, that's just a dumb one to do. But, uh, yeah, hopefully, you guys, uh, you know, like I said, enjoyed. If you did, maybe leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. We do a ton of franchise stuff, and it's always a ton of fun, even when we lose. A little bit frustrating, I will admit, but... You know, it was still a ton of fun trying to make that comeback and kind of almost doing it. I don't know. Those blind reads, though. Those two, like, drag route, middle of the field interceptions are just so dumb. Just awful reads. Of course, there's pressure. You know, it's, you know, obviously when I'm editing later, uh, I'm going to look at it like, wow, that's just stupid. But at the same time, when you're editing, it's just different. When you're watching, it's just different. When you're actually playing and you have the pressure and you're thinking about a bunch of different things and you're looking around, it's tougher. I'm telling you. I could literally highlight the open receiver every time editing, but it would make for a boring video because you'd be like, oh, yeah, well, we all we all see that. I was like, whatever, dude. But anyways, like I said, all those things. If you're not new and you're a continued supporter, you're a continued viewer, appreciate you a ton. And that's about it. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys come back for next video. But until next video, see ya.